Hi guys, Dave Ashcroft here at Ashcroft Transmission. The recent video that we did of the R380 and the auctions went down really well. Over 100,000 views, which is absolutely brilliant. So we thought we'd try and do a similar thing with the LT230 and do a series of four short videos just explaining some of the different options and variations that you have in the drop down menus when you go to order them on the website. So we thought we'd start with the first one, which is ratios. Okay, so when we're talking about ratios, what we're referring to in the LT230 is the high range ratio. You've essentially got four gears in a LT230 transfer box. You've got your input gear. There are different types, but the effective diameter stays the same. You've got your intermediate gear, which has three rows of teeth. Then you've got your high range output gear, your low range gear. So your low range gear always stays the same. These two are fixed if you like. The effective diameter of the input gear is fixed as is this gear. When we're talking about changing the ratio, we're talking about changing the high range ratio. And that means that that gear diameter and your output gear diameter change on these two gears. So you will have heard the phrase uh, 1.2 ratio, 1.4 ratio, 1.6 ratio. What that refers to is the number of times that the input gear has to turn to make the output turn once. On the 1.410 ratio transfer box, the input gear has to turn over 1.4 times in order to make the transfer case the output flanges turn once. As this changes, as the ratio gets lower, the output gets bigger. So 1.6, that's the biggest gear. 1.003, that's the smallest gear. Conversely, that changes too. On the 1.6, that's smaller. On the 1.003, that's the bigger variant. So I'm not gonna spend ages talking about the pros and cons of different ratios. Um, what you can do is have a look at the previous videos that we've done, have a look at the ratio calculator so you can choose what ratio is best for you. Uh, but this is just to give you a visual of what's going on inside the transfer. So if you wanna have a look at these gears here, we've got six ratios laid out here for you. Starting with the intermediate, the low stays the same. The middle one is run by the input, which is effectively the same. The two gears that change are that gear on the intermediate and the high range output, 1.6, 1.4. And if you look at the difference in diameters here, 1.3, 1.2, 1.1, down to 1.003. We said, when you are looking to work out what ratio might suit you best for your application, depending what you do with it, the weight of the vehicle, whether you're towing, whatever, the best tool to do that is the ratio calculator. Have a look at that, let me know if you have any questions. Hope you found that useful.